Hey friends, and welcome back to A Simple Truth. Now, we are continuing through Proverbs, uh, Solomon's Proverbs. We read, uh, what was it, 1, 2, and 3 yesterday? 4, 5, and 6 are today, and we're going to continue taking a look at wisdom. So yesterday, we took a look at uh, wisdom, passing it on to the next generation, um, the benefits of wisdom, what wisdom truly is, uh, the fear of the Lord. Um, we also... Um, yeah, just a lot of wisdom. Uh, beyond that, uh, today, uh, the security of wisdom, more specifically. Um, and then we'll also be looking at the peril of adultery. Um, and then dangerous promises, putting putting up surety, um, maybe for a friend or a neighbor. Um, so again, attaching your name to them. Um, laziness and also the wicked person as well. So we're going to see all that in chapters 4, 5, and 6 today. So, Proverbs 4. Hear, my children, the instruction of a father, and give attention to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine. Do not forsake my law. When I was my father's son, tender, and the only one in the sight of my mother, he also taught me and said to me, Let your heart retain my words. Keep my commands and live. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her, and she will preserve you. Love her, and she will keep you. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all you're getting, get understanding. Exalt her and she will promote you. She will bring you honor when you embrace her. She will place on your head an, ornament, an ornament of grace, a crown of glory she will deliver to you. Hear, my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of your life will be many. I have taught you in the way of wisdom. I have led you in the right paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hindered. When you run, you will not stumble. Take firm hold of instruction. Do not let go. Keep her, for she is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked, and do not walk in the way of evil. Avoid it. Do not travel on it. Turn away from it and pass on, for they do not sleep unless they have done evil, and their sleep is taken away unless they make someone fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter into the perfect day. The way of the wicked is like darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it spring the issues of life. Put away from you a deceitful mouth and put perverse lips far from you. Let your eyes look straight ahead and your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet, and let all your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Remove your foot from evil. <clears throat> Chapter 5. My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Lend your ear to my understanding, that you may preserve discretion, and your lips may keep knowledge. For the lips of an immoral woman drip honey, and her mouth is smoother than oil. But in the end, she is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death. Her steps lay hold of hell. Lest you ponder her path of life, her ways are unstable. You do not know them. Therefore, hear me now, my children, and do not depart from the words of my mouth. Remove your way far from her, and do not go near the door of her house, lest you give your honor to others and yours to the cruel one, lest aliens be filled with your wealth and your labors go to the house of a foreigner, and you mourn at last when your flesh and body are consumed. And say, how I have hated instruction, and my heart despised correction. I have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor inclined my ear to those who instructed me. I was on the verge of total ruin in the midst of the assembly and congregation. Drink water from your own cistern, and running water from your own well. Should your fountains be dispersed abroad, streams of water in the streets, let them be only your own, and not strangers with you. Let your fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of your youth. As a loving deer and a gracious doe, let her breast satisfy you at all times and always be enraptured with her love. For why should you, my son, be enraptured by an immoral woman and be embraced in the arms of a seductress? For the ways of man are before the eyes of the Lord and he ponders all his paths. He makes his iniquities and trap the wicked man. He is caught in the cords of his sin. He shall die for the lack of instruction. And in the greatness of his folly, he shall go astray. Chapter 6 My son, if you become surety for your friend, 
If you have shaken hands in pledge for a stranger, you are snared by the words of your mouth. You are taken by the words of your mouth. So do this, my son, and deliver yourself. For you have come into the hand of your friend. Go and humble yourself. Plead with your friend. Give no sleep to your eyes nor slumber to your eyelids. Deliver yourself like a gazelle from the hand of a hunter, like a bird from the hand of the fowler. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider his ways and be wise, which, having no captain, overseer, or ruler, provides her supplies in the summer and gathers her food in the harvest. How long will you slumber, O sluggard, when you rise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall your poverty come on you like a prowler, and your need like an armed man. A worthless person, a wicked man, walks with a perverse mouth. He winks with his eyes, he shuffles his feet, he points with his fingers, perversity is in his heart. He devises evil continually, he sows discord. Therefore his calamity shall come suddenly, suddenly he shall be broken without remedy. These six things the Lord hates, yes, seven are an abomination to him. A proud look, a lying tongue, his hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that are swift to run to evil, a false witness who speaks lies, and one who sows discord among brethren. My son, keep your father's command and do not forsake the law of your mother. Bind them continually upon your heart. Tie them around your neck. When you roam, they will lead you. When you sleep, they will keep you. And when you awake, they will speak with you. For the commandment is a lamp and the light of, and a law of light. Reproofs of instruction are the way of life. To keep you from the evil woman, from the flattering tongue of a seductress. Do not lust after her beauty in your heart, nor let her allure you with her eyelids. For by means of a harlot, a man is reduced to a crust of bread, and an adulteress will prey upon his precious life. Can a man take fire to his bosom and his clothes not be burned? Can one walk on hot coals and his feet not be seared? So he goes into his neighbor's wife. Whoever touches her shall not be innocent. People do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy himself when he is starving. Yet, when he is found, he must restore sevenfold. He may have to give up all substance of his house. Whoever commits adultery with a woman lacks understanding. He who does so destroys his own soul. Wounds and dishonor he will, get, will he get, and his reproach will not be wiped away. For jealousy is a husband's fury. Therefore, he will not spare in the day of vengeance. He will accept no recompense, nor will he, nor will he be appeased, through, though you give many gifts. All right. So uh, I think what stuck out to me on that one um, is just recognizing the importance of having a kingdom mindset, um, because that's something that I fall into. Uh, and I say that very much, um, very much in light of being lazy. Uh, I'm a very lazy person. Um, I, I, I just don't do a whole lot throughout the day. Yeah, I go to work uh, and maybe a little bit of housework, um, but there's a lot more that I can do, uh, especially having that kingdom mindset. Um, so asking that, what can I do to serve? And it's not just hearing the word, but um, putting that into action. And so what does, uh, what does that look like? And that's something I definitely need to spend more time doing. So um, it definitely called me account to account for, for laziness. Um, but yeah, I think that's what predominantly stuck out to me. Um, obviously the, the adultery and that faithfulness and honoring your covenant before God, um, is absolutely massive. Um, absolutely massive. But again, just what struck me right in the side is the, uh, the laziness. So, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely need to be working on it. But as always, thank you so much for, uh, for watching. Hope you guys are getting enriched and, uh, yeah, love you friends. Talk to you later.